Greetings simmers and welcome to the reaction review. I'm Gripper Sim and today we're going to look at the Carnado Saab S340 in Sumbera Airport in the Shetland Islands in Scotland. If you're not sure where the Shetland Islands are, it's up to the northeast of Scotland, just about here. We're going to have a quick look at Sumbera Airport here, the scenery. I paid 10 euros 22 cents for it and I'm going to tell you where I got it towards the end of the show. The key features of this airport include a large 30 centimeter photo reel coverage, includes a stunning fitful head, fully customized model airport, detailed models of surrounding landmarks, high definition ground polygons, complex car animations in 3D, realistic rendition of light sources in all 3D objects, and superb airport night lighting. Gripper say my candy, go! Picture tells a thousand words. Now for the main feature of the show is the Carnado Saab S340. This model supports extensive VR support with snap points in every passenger seat, all knobs, buttons, dials, handles, etc. Also optimized for VR usage. This model has high-end 4K PBR graphics throughout. Let's have a look. Carnado have implemented an in-depth sound design implementation including distance effects, realistic prop reversal effects, etc. So have a li listen to this for example. Sound is so incredibly important, I believe, on flight simulator models for sure. Now let's have a look at the interior. Now listen to the sound as we pass the cabin door, okay? I love the way this is another little feature you can open the door on the steps. So just have a listen.
there's always the sound of a baby at the six o'clock flight in the morning. Incidentally, in order to avoid irritating other passengers, some people have put their babies in the overhead lockers. Hmm, now I bet you Ryanair will implement that as mandatory. <laughs> I do find that these cabins, when they're really detailed, does add a sense of immersion, even though you're not spending much time there. But I think this one's pretty well made, actually. Um, let me know in the comments if you think otherwise. Okay, let's have a look at some other features of this model. So it has a visible and a functional ground power unit, as we've seen. It's good weight compatible. Engine design is optimized for X-Plane 11.30's new turboprop model. Flight dynamics are optimized for the latest improvements in X-Plane 11.3. The cockpit next, let's have a look. The custom logic systems are as follow. Electrical system, starter logic, fuel system, prop logic, bleed air system, avionic buses, hydraulic logic, pressurizing brake lines, prior to torque removal, electrical temperature system, de-icing logic, etc, etc, etc. They also have Reality XP support, ground steering, a tiller system, includes air conditioning, pressurization, an oxygen system, a fully customized in-depth enunciator logic, oral warning logic, throttle logic with friction control. Now, as this cockpit is fully functional for VR, great, um, but I have the Oculus Rift at the minute, and I, what I didn't tell you last week, or is what I admitted to say, is it's very hard to read the dials unless you look close up now. I've ordered the Primax, yay! So I'm going to compare the two and there'll be very, very big comparisons. So leave your questions in the comments and I'll respond on the review. Now listen to this. I love the way they have the sounds in this airplane. Now, nighttime, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Okay, let's fly and try that crazy approach at Sunbury. Okay, I've just called for a pushback. You should be here any minute. Round to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Okay, here he comes. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Uh, let's have a look around whilst we're waiting. I'm not going to start the engines here. What is that? Oh, it's a shade. How interesting. Well, that's uh, very smart. First officer has one as well. Oh, the lights. I wonder... Oh, the lights move around. I wonder how that's going to work. Uh, does it switch on? It does. It switches on. Very nice. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Hurry up. Winching strap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. Okay, parking brake released. Starting pushback and you may start engines. He's very well spoken, isn't he? Operation complete. Set parking brake. Oh yeah, the parking brake, of course. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. <laughs> he could be holding his iPhone for all I know. Right, left first.
launched Logan Air Approach into Sumber and apparently this is how they do the approach. I love short field approaches. Let's see if I can stop by the next exit. Well, that was fun. Thanks a million for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe and comment. It's very important. If I get comments and subscribers, it does help the channel produce more better content. So until next week, or hopefully if I get the time midweek for something, I will see you again on the reaction review. Ciao, ciao. Or whatever goodbye is. I don't know.